Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something new in Asana. It's called the Gantt View. Um, so as well as list, board, timeline and calendar, you now have the option of adding a Gantt View. It's just here. So um, let's call it Gantt and we're going to bring it up. Um, when you go into the Gantt View, you've got a few options over here. The first option is um, automatically on, which is auto schedule tasks. And what this does is really quite clever. Um, as you add tasks in and set their duration, so let's say um, I have an initial discussion with the client, the next task that I add in after that is going to is going to follow one day later um, from the from the end of the previous task. So um, let's say I'm going to conduct team workshops as my next job. And let's say that's going to take me quite some time. That's going to take me um, 21 days. Let's say what it will do is actually set the start and the end date based on this previous piece of work, this previous task. And then if I decide um, that I need to write a report of all the findings from the workshops, I can um, put in uh, write report. And let's say that's going to take me, I don't know, five days. Then the next task that comes up is going to be following immediately thereafter, taking into account weekends in this case. Do X. So that's very, very basically how it works, um, which is which is kind of cool. I like it. Um, if we had a, a single select field here, we'd be able to color it by that. Um, you can do all the same stuff that you can do in timelines around whether you see all tasks, incomplete tasks, months, days, weeks, whatever. Um, uh, you can also look at the critical paths. You can highlight the critical path. And one of the things that you can do as well is set a baseline. Now, what this is intended to do is as projects, when a project starts, so let's say, for example, today it's the 14th of uh, September, um, in two weeks' time, we can actually look at a baseline from the 14th of September to see how far we've deviated from the original timeline. So, um, and then you can tell whether to show it or not. So that's a really, really brief introduction to Gantt, uh, the Gantt view. Um, as I find out more, I will probably put up another video, but that's just a quick, maybe less than three minute um, introduction into how to uh, get started with the Gantt view. I think it's really interesting. I think it's got a lot of potential. As I say, I've literally spent half an hour looking at it this morning, so I am not the expert. But um, there is a, a page on this, which I'll link below. And if you've got any questions, reach out and uh, comment below and I'll be sure to come back with answers. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and please, of course, hit that like button. Thank you.